certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Monday evening, Mid-Michigan. Chief Meteorologist Chris Eastlick with your Monday evening forecast update. A look at the Saginaw Bay early tonight. Lots of sun and calm waters, too. We've seen a decent amount of boats go out as we've gone throughout the afternoon. Should be a beautiful night for whatever you have planned. And temperatures won't be too bad by tomorrow morning. Lots of 40s and 50s as we start the day on Tuesday. But that may not be the case on Wednesday and Thursday mornings. We will have to watch out for a little bit of frost. I think some frost advisories are possible, at least in parts of the area, going towards those mornings. And I would say the most likely morning out of the two for frost is going to be on Thursday, but Wednesday at least has decent potential, so we'll be watching that one too. Our high temperatures on Tuesday should still be warm. Lots of areas in the mid to upper 70s for the afternoon. I think we could also see a few low 80s for tomorrow. A lot of that may depend on just how quickly a northeasterly wind takes over. An earlier arrival to that northeasterly wind, a lot of these values could get cooler. A later arrival means more 80s could dot the map before the day is done. Either way, we'll be a little bit cooler off to the east tomorrow. Your sky tracker shows that we barely have any cloud cover tonight. I would expect that to remain the case for most of the night. Perhaps a few high clouds moving in by tomorrow morning, but otherwise another sunny start. We should have a cold front passing through during the second half of the day may lead to a spotty shower or sprinkle. I think the more likely scenario is just a little extra cloud cover. Either way, it moves through without much trouble at all, but the big change is going to be our temperatures on Wednesday behind that front. Highs only in the 50s, but we warm back up quickly to the upper 60s on Thursday, back to the low 70s by Friday. Stay with WNEM-TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.